This is the front page of our entire 5G CP. This is our display gateway. This equipment model, firmware for the device, Mac L and FO, there is a current time. And the time the equipment runs. Here is the information that shows us on the link. IP address, DNS. Run connection duration. Connect to 5G. Type. For example, is it 5G SA or a type of NSA? This network connection proves that it has been connected. Internet. Current live download. Rate is also a rate of real time upload. The client list displays one of the currently connected. A list of device terminals. Then we can click in and see the current terminal, name of the connected terminal. There is also the MAC address of the device, and the ID of the device it is, is a front page of our entire 5G CP. This page also shows links to 5G or 4G pages. The current display is 5G. Network settings have wireless settings. Wireless settings can be set separately. Wireless dual in one. There are also some settings functions for the entire Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi channel bandwidth can be set. One of the current Wi-Fi allows. Number of connections. You can also switch a mode of Wi-Fi 6 separately. Guest network can be set up individually. A guest network with Wi-Fi for the device. A separate network to use alone. Wired settings can be carried out. A network segment for DHC. This is an address assignment, a setting of star and end. Can also be targeted. Setting of progressive duration. The maximum is 72 hours. So the following is the LAN port. Route to native address setting for the device. The default is 100.1. Can be as needed. Set to a different address segment. IBV6 settings. This is an address setting for IBV6. If we want to get the IBV6 address, we need to turn on that 6. You can save it. The computer can automatically get it. An address assigned by the router IPv6. Then this IPv6 one address is the one for dial setting. DHCP also has an address from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 4. You can also set up PPoE dial. Can be set. Pending address of IPv6. VPN network is aimed. A feature of the VPN to set up according to the needs of customers. One setting for different VPNs. We mainly support LTTP and PPTP WireGuard and the GRE. A software for remote access to the United States. Set up. After opening, we need put an ID at the Zeridia. Apply for an ID. Fill in who to save. We'll generate an ID for a router. With router, we can. When you enter the background, you see the corresponding address. You can go through the current address. Make that remote access to the router. Router management. Smart QoS is the word. One bandwidth of our entire router. One of the settings. For example, an upload of bandwidth. One bandwidth to download. Set according to the actual bandwidth. Then there are four preset modes in the following words. One is automatic game priority. There are web pages first and video first. Can be selected according to different modes. To achieve an effect of intelligent flow control. Settings for DNS. This is to set up one of our dynamic domain name. It's like saying we are 3322 or no IP for DYDNS, which is the free service. 
will apply for an account. Through this account, enter the binding is our IP, bind our domain name. You can pass the domain name, real-time access to one of our routers. Tier 069, this is an agreement for Tier 069. A centralized management of equipment can be carried out. The carrier needs more. Just through an agreement through 069, can be managed to a corresponding device. Is to display to some equipment related information. For example, like that model, components, and the hardware version. There are also connection duration, IP address, etc. 5G connectivity. Information can be found on this page. A signal quality of the current connection. A signal strength of the connection. You can check it out at the bottom of this page. We can look at current operators. You can set the corresponding APN. Can add APN. APN corresponding to the current SIM card operator. We can just fill it in. Pin code management. A pin is preset for the SIM card. It is equivalent to adding a password to the SIM card. When logging in, when refreshing this page, if it is detected that the SIM card has a password, a pin input box will pop up. Enter pin password. Only then can the net be injected normally. In order to complete the normal networking, if the input is wrong, wrong words will lead to lock card. There's only three one chance. Wrong input will cause the card to be locked. Will be locked card. There are two setting options and the network mount. One is the network search mount. If that I can set the current SIM card, this specifies which of the connections. For example, there is a 5G model. For G mode 5G plus for G mount, there is also an automatic mount. Then there is another network mode of 5G. We can set the connection mode of 5G. There are a total of three. One is automatic mount. One is the NSA model. One is the SA model. Set SA in case of setting 5G mount. Current I search network mount. Must choose automatic or 5G or a mode of 5G plus LTE to 4G. Will take effect. Bandwidth law. This can go alone to let. The router is connected to a specified frequency band. For example, you can specify that only B1 is checked. Let that router connect to B1 alone. One of the connection bands specified. Cell log. These are 5G that can set up the current 4G. One cell log. Let the current 5G log to a cell above. 4G is the same. It can also be used as a 4G network. That's the setting. Fixed on top of one of the cells to connect. TTL setting is to change. A value set. It is a function that needs a setting. Mainly for operators in the United States. Like T-Mobile just needs a setup. The word Tello can reach. To be able to use the normal one. Otherwise, it may be subject to a speed limit by the operator. TTL value. It is selected according to a local equipment tag. Add command. This is a high-level debugging. Add command can be sent. Can view some status information of the module. If the MI number is modified, it's for that other device. Machine card binding. When changing equipment, you need to copy the MI number of the previous device. Just put our equipment MI number. Become an MI number of a device on the previous one. In this way, a network connection can be completed. Otherwise, it will be locked. There are below the firewall function. The first is parental control. Can control one of the terminals to use the internet. A case of internet access. 
just a period of time on the internet. You can also choose. You can choose every week or every day of the week. There are also firewall settings, including forwarding. There is also a setting for the DMC. There is also a setting for a network discovery above. The first is system maintenance. Below is a language that can set up the system. You can also set up a recovery of that system. Factory settings. You can also set several functions for a reboot of the system. And a time restart of the system. You can set the device. Weekly schedule restart. The device is maintained on an extranet for a test. It's equivalent to us being able to do this through this feature. Can be set. This curve route can be set to view. Whether the router can connect to the internet, we can spell battle or another website. Point to start. If there are some that appear below, it's that pin information. Prove that the router is connected to the extranet. System upgrade function words. Like we can target the selection. Select the one to upgrade the firmware. Can be upgraded to. A software upgrade can be made to the router. You can upgrade to the latest one firmware. Select the file and click system upgrade. During a system upgrade, it is the one that does not allow the device to lose power until the system prompts that the upgrade was successful. The last one is a username for the system. Password change can be modified. The system defaults to an initial password. Can be set to. It's some of our more advanced passwords. This is a protection against one access to the router. Click the like and follow us.